in the network network managers role is probably the most excruciating and the most rewarding the designers and installers will move on to the another system another design new frontiers but the network manager will stay and manage the network on a daily basis as network manager you are the ruler of your own castle network management success depends on three characteristics network knowledge management skill and fire containment and for successful network manager you should have following management skill one configuration management second fault management third performance management fourth security management and fifth account management configuration management starts with network documentation and remember good documentation helps you to stay on the top of your network after all as soon as you get it working things will change almost immediately the only constant in networking is variation and transition you should focus on the following areas as you de develop your configuration management documentation these areas are one network management systems second documentation elements and third is change order management network documentation can be a full time job so you will need help for gathering all your data a network management system is a set of programs that integrates many management functions under a single interface many systems include problem detection and reporting capabilities along with fault management a management system will often be able to create baseline data for making comparisons and for charting trends network management system may consist of software only or hardware only or a combination of software and hardware even if you did memorize everything about the network the documentation is very much important here are the three main aspects of network documentation one network second history and users and third is resources the network is the core of your documentation the information in this section details several different aspects of physical and logical network you need to keep track of where everything is how many uh, components are there how they are related and who uses them in general you must keep track of following five components one physical maps second clients third servers fourth internet working devices and fifth is spares another important point in the network documentation is the history and the users history teaches us much about the present and the future a detailed and accurate record of land's history can help you to solve current problems and prevent in future this area of network documentation focuses on three main con concerns one 
land utilization second general business model and third is user data the last but not least of network documentation is resources your network documentation also should include resources for configuration management network resources documentation falls into four categories one client data second special situations third networking concepts and fourth is product knowledge change order management is an important aspect of configuration management it involves keeping track of what you are doing to the network and to the documentation the change order log is the centerpiece of change order management the basic goal of a change order log are to keep trend information on systems and to monitor how things were repaired the change order log can save your job when things go wrong fault management fault management means establishing systems and procedures to handle problem in a calm and cool manner we must address three important topics related to fault management how to identify fault faults quickly how to assign priority to problems and how to respond to fix problems here is what we need to do it is one system fault tolerance second backup systems third cable testers and fourth is data recovery tools system fault tolerance that is sft means online redundancy sft is available for power supplies hard drives disk controllers memory and total file server systems backup systems is one of the most important point that fault management has and is very important when network problem occur and sft support is limited cable testers are electrical tools used to evaluate the electrical properties of a network segment to use cable tester you need to know the exact specifications for your network wiring system cable testers also can help you to locate faults when a cable segment is damaged physically cable testers can locate the fault within a few feet data recovery tools some network operating systems have excellent disk management and recovery features performance management when users are asked how fast the network should be they always answer just a little faster users measure network performance in response time that is how fast can they log in launch an application and print a report the network performance is based partly on identifying bottlenecks managing network performance means creating baseline reports of errors and throughput looking at problem response times estimating future needs and finding ways to keep the user satisfied there are several tools and techniques are available to help us with this task some of the important tools are one lan analyzer for windows second lan analyzer for ncc 
and third is sniffer security management security management protects your network from external and internal threats believe it or not some of the most dangerous threats are internal your average employee don't try to harm their network intentionally it just happens they try to do something new that they didn't understand exactly or they try to install a really cute application that they brought from home and accidentally install a virus with it intentional harm also happens although not as often security management involves implementing procedures to protect against accidental and intentional harm in computer security world there are three basic levels of threat one operational second physical and third is logical operational security governs user behavior towards organizational resources particularly computer data a good operational security is ensured only by education physical security if an intruder gains access to your server room or computers then he or she can cause a lot of damage logical security involves passwords file system rights console privileges and restrictions on network use in other words once you have physical access to the network facilities then what are you allowed to do with them logical security begins with the five interrogatives that is who what why where and when accounting management is the collection interpretation and use of network cost information it involves the budget and cost allocation chargeback systems unplanned purchases and planning for growth when a budget is put together the networking people submit their requirements for coming fiscal year when the finance people ask why you re- require this then you should have a good answer with required data charge back systems in some organization the network group is on its own and is not allocated a budget instead the group must paid for itself by charging for its services as outside vendor in this case accounting management can be genuine life saver implementing an accounting system in your architecture will allow you to charge fairly for general use of the network some third party metering and auditing programs can be useful for this purpose unplanned purchases budgets are estimates they estimate needs for a given fiscal period but these estimates don't always cover unexpected failures or additions in such cases someone has to pay for the added expense accounting management allows you to look at a given purchase and either charge the party who used it mostly or fairly distribute the cost among the various network service users 
based upon their usage statistics. Planning for growth Accounting also can help to quantify network service used and demanded.